each and every perfect surgeon must understand the design of the instrument they are using right the ergonomics and how it how the instrument works they must understand so now this is the ellis forceps okay ellis forceps is a very important forceps and very useful forceps it is always there in every surgery okay this is a metallic instrument having two ends at one hand there is a handle and the other hand there is a grip okay now now first of all you need to understand the grip uh, right when you want to when you want to catch one structure let's say abdominal wall you want that that this the structure you are holding with the instrument should not slip right so that's why the grip becomes important here so the grip depends on the pressure and area right the instrument at the end the tip of the tip of the instrument there is a such an area in which the pressure is applied and it depends that how much pressure you apply and how much area on which the pressure is applied that will define your grip right so in case of ellis forceps the opposing opposing uh, area of two blades is a smaller one right so here the area is small and the pressure is high so the grip will be very good right so the area in which pressure is generated creates more grip here the ellis forceps has teeth so it it helps uh, to catch the structure more and more strongly okay but the teeth are not that much sharp and that much long it will not just damage the uh, structure but it will hold it firmly right now any tissue can be held or any tissue can be catched with the ellis forceps like fascia abdominal wall uterine wall cervical lip etc but remember always have uh, your structure is stronger okay you can't just you know you can't just hold uh, uh, the softer structures with the ellis forceps because it will rupture right so it's an extremely common instrument now understand the ergonomics of hemostatic forceps okay hemostatic forceps are the forceps where what we want we want to just catch one artery and we want to we want to close the artery at its fully extent that's uh, uh, in which the blood cannot go out and in okay if you are holding a tubal structure like artery with the hemostatic forceps that it should make clear that no blood goes uh, from here and where from the grip of the hemostatic forceps right so here is the mechanism here is the artery here is the forceps now once the forceps is closed or hold then the artery is you know uh, collapsed perfectly or collapsed truly their wall and uh, their both walls of the artery is just opposed firmly each uh, to each other that will make sure that no blood goes inside or out but if you try to hold the artery with ellis forceps so what will happen ellis forceps first of all if you hold it uh, not at the tip then the artery will be not collapsed fully and if you just uh, hold the artery with the tip then it might be chances of rupturing the artery because of the sharp teeth of the ellis forceps right so to have a hemostatic design both blades should oppose cut to cut to each other and should be strong catch mechanism is there that's why they are opposed to the each other with the full length of their blade okay now this design is called hemostatic forceps design okay there are and it is common in every hemostatic forceps you you get right different there are different kinds of and sizes of hemostatic forceps available this is long hemostatic forceps some some people call it a clamp which is used in a hysterectomy right this is a uh, middle uh, in the medium size artery forceps in which the mechanism is same okay both blade oppose each to uh, each to each uh, uh, you know uh, fully at their full length here is a small mosquito forceps they can be curved they can be straight both right but the design remains the same now hemostatic forceps used to catch every artery and you can catch any bleeding point even you can catch the fascias and membranes like that but you you are not holding the fascias and membranes with firm with firm you know if you try to catch an abdominal wall with the artery forceps you can't just you know hold it very very strongly it will slip okay 
and if you try to give more and more pressure then it will rupture the structure so you can't just use artery forceps to hold these structures like you know abdominal wall or uh, um, uh, the fascias you can't just hold it perfectly though you can hold it but not that perfectly how we want right so this is a two different designs of uh, instrument that we use commonly now here is a third one something called coacher's artery forceps coacher's artery forceps has a combined design of both hemostatic forceps and ellis forceps right because in this uh, in this instrument you can see here there is long blades with serration inside they will be opposing to each other firmly and also at the tip there are three teeth okay so coacher forcep is a very good forcep you know it will hold everything tight and it will not slip also so coacher forcep is a combined design of ellis forceps and hemostatic or uh, hemostatic forceps so this is how you need to understand the instruments in deep right and meanwhile you know many surgeons uh, have their own design instrument so if you want to reach at that level then you must understand each and every uh, instrument's design and how it is working and ergonomics of this instrument and that will make you a perfect surgeon in future right instead of mugging the instrument just understand the design and if you are able to able to tell this particular understanding of yours to your examiner in the viva exam then i am sure you will be getting very very good mark because a good examiner always sees that what the students actually understand right thank you friends